Hi guys, welcome back to BlackBronx.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do simple parallax effect using After Effects. Let's get started. First, we create new composition. Hold Ctrl plus N for shortcut. We start new composition with 1920 by 1080. I rename this composition as Main Comp. Then I set duration time at 3 second long and I click OK. Here I have photo from Eric McLean and I drop it on my timeline right below. Now the photo much larger than my current comp 1920 by 1080. Here I hit S for scale then I scale it down to realistic size, fit to my composition. And now we ready to go. Let's come up to this pen tool. And zoom in for this photo with mouse wheel. What we want to do is, cut out this photo. Now, I'm not taking a lot of time to do this absolutely perfectly. But the more precise you can be with your mask, the better that the effect it's going to look. So we going fast forward through part this video right now, because this is time consuming. So I'm just fast forward me cutting this person. Right now we done cutting out for this person. Next we need to cut out for the candle from this photo. But first I need to duplicate this photo first and hide the previous layer. Then I select this layer and hit M for reveal mask function. I change mask 1 from add to subtract for invert the selection. Now I'm used back pen tool and continue to cut out the all lights from the background. For each cut out light I change the mask setting from add to subtract, same as previous workflow. Alright we done for cut out stage and it's look pretty good so far. Next thing we need to do is, I'm going here and select this layer. I'm just duplicate this layer by hit Ctrl plus D then I'm rename this layer by hit enter. I rename this layer as background. Perfect. Now we going to windows menu and find content aware. For content aware setting, I set fill method to surface. And range work I set to work area. We ready to go. Next, what we going to do is shrink the duration down to one frame only before I start doing content aware this background. Now we click generate fill layer. What happen is it's going to generate background based on content aware properties of this background. Actually it's look surprisingly good. Now I need to extend animation duration for fill layer. I'm select fill layer and right click on it. Go to time and choose freeze time frame. We extend the duration until 3 second long, same as composition duration. Right now all layers duration match with composition duration. Next I'm drag background layer under fill layer. Then I attach this layer together by parent it. Now you can see whenever I scale up or down background layer, fill layer will follow. You can see it's pretty easy to do. The most time-consuming part for whole process is masking our elements out of photo. But once you done that, other will be piece of cake. Super easy.
We need to change fill and background layer into 3D mode by click 3D box icon. Right now I'm switching from one view into two view horizontal. Basically we going to look at top down of composition. We look from the ceiling, and we can see our camera from the scene. And also the whole layers from horizontal line. I'm moving the background layer further for camera in Z space to give space for other elements. Then I resize the background to make sure cover back the composition area. I select this layer and I hit S for scale. Then I resize the background until it cover the whole composition area. Perfect. Next what we need to do is change our main element layer into 3D mode. Here you will notice this layer it's not in 3D mode. I hit this 3D box icon, then I unhide the layer. Right now you can see the position from top layer. I need to position this layer to give space for other elements. But first, I need to rename this layer. I hit enter this layer and rename it as man. Now I move this layer backward little bit in Z position. And then I scale up the image by hit S. I resize the image until it look in good composition. Now look better. We ready to create a new camera now and to do parallax effect, by coming up to layer menu and new, then we select camera. Alright here the camera setup. I just rename this camera as main cam. Then other setting I just set it as default. We click OK and ready to go. Now I go to camera tool and select track Z camera to get dolly effects. And here the look and feel. I feel like I need to position back my man layer to get better result by moving it forward toward camera a little bit. Here I switch back my one view to two view horizontal, help me to get better view to positioning my layer. I'm moving the layer toward little bit to the camera. Then I scale down the image to make it look good in composition. Now better. Now I'm switch back from my two view to one view by go to this drop down menu. Here I need to duplicate this layer to use my fire element mask inside this layer. I move this layer to the top and I unhide it. I'm started to rename this layer by hitting enter. And then I rename it as light 01. I hit M for mask to reveal the mask setting. Next, I choose which mask that I want to show then I click checkbox for the inverted to show my selected element. Now you can see my fire element as appear. Next I just duplicate the the layer and do the same process. Here I'm switch my one view to two view horizontal for easy to navigate the layer from the top. Right now I'm just positioning my fire element into proper composition. Here you will notice that my masking edge didn't clean and match with the background. Don't worry we going to fix it. In the mask setting, I reduce the mask expansion, then I increase the mask feather to blend with the background.
Now masking become better and blend with the background. Awesome. I do the same process with other elements, to blend the masking with the background. Just adjust the mask expansion and mask feather. So we going fast forward through part this video right now, because this is time consuming. In this process also I arrange back the fire position from original position just to create a good composition for these elements. Alright, we done. Right now look better. Now we need to arrange all fire elements in Z position, to create parallax effects. I'm positioning all each fire element in different places. So we going fast forward through part this video right now. Alright, I just done arrange the fire elements. Next we going to animate our camera. I move this camera layer to the top. We need to make keyframe for this by go to this drop down menu, and then go to transform. Here I set keyframe for point of interest and position of the camera. I change my tool to camera dolly by hit C, and then I dolly inside little bit for the first frame. And then I move few second and I start to move further from my previous point. Next I go to the end of my timeline, then I zoom out all the way. Right now you can see our first attempt for this parallax effect. Look really awesome. Here you can see the fire element is not balanced. Right now I need to do final touch up for fire element. I need to position back all the fire elements to get better composition. Let's make the camera animation become smooth. Here I go to camera layer and hit U to reveal the animation keyframe. I'm select all the keyframe here. Then I hit F9 to change the animation style from linear to ease. I hit the keyframe while I hold control key until the keyframe icon change becomes circle. Here I want to change my in between keyframe to auto bezier to make my motion of animation become more smooth. Let's play this video to the final result. It's look so awesome.
Anywhere guys I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did and you want to show me some support, please drop a like on this video. Let me know down in the comment below if you have any questions or stuck any point and I'll do my best to help you out. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.